and they won't hesitate to kick you with them if you disturb them. Hey there, Rock with Tube with Garis. This is a box from a mate of mine, Sam. Everyone knows Sam, Bugman and Sam. I've been getting into Faz Mints, stick insects and leaf insects and stuff like that, and he wanted to send me this. So before I open this box, this box here, it's quite a big box. This is what Sam has to say. Hey, Gar dude, look. Unpacking your box. I hope it received you well today. So I'm going to chuck in some hints and tips at stick and set keeping for you I just want to thank you dude for entering the phasmid side of the invert hobby I've just been desperate to share this with some good friends and now I finally can so this is really really cool And prepare to get so hooked on keeping these guys Okay, then let's open this up Always cut away from you, don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> he sent me a Jackie Chan Christmas special comic. Awesome. Shall I watch that? Uh, read that now. Some papers. Okay. It was not. Uh, page three or anything on it. Okay, so. EC. So these are the Calcutta, I, uh, I presume. It's a few in there. I'm not gonna <laughs> the camera hiding behind the plant, so I'll show you guys as well. Put some EC, so you said EC. Now with these specifically, I've always had far better success rate by just leaving the over bee. Not taking them out, not disturbing them, letting the Uricantha calcarata bury them in with our ovipositor and just leave them there. Of course you can take them out, but I've had far less success in doing it that way. Stay there, dance. Oh, another big one. Oh, AA. Oh, these are pretty. AA. And there's, there's loads in there. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty loads of them. Nice one, Sam. Now, one of your tubs in here is marked AA, and that stands for Artion Asperimus. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure, dude, if that is what's in there. These were an eBay purchase off a lady just called them Artian stick insects. Now, they could be Artian species something else. I'm not 100% sure, but Asperimus are the common ones, so that's why, at a guess, that's what these are. But until I get some overlaid, and inspect that over, I'm not going to be 100% sure. But we do not need to worry because all the Artian species are kept the same anyway. They just vary in sizes ever so slightly and locality. Now as mature females do, you're going to need to make sure you've got at least a pot of substrate if you're not using a full substrate floor. So you can use cocoa fibre, keep it damp like you would your Asian tarantulas or just put a pot of maybe sand in there, but you'll have to try and keep the humidity levels up slightly higher if you're using the sand, but it's a lot easier to find their eggs. But if you plan on just leaving them to lay and for them to hatch naturally in their environment, then a cocoa fibre would be a better substrate. Now, if these are Asperimus, they won't need an enclosure any more than 24, 25 centimetres tall. Now these are fine on a staple diet of purely bramble, but if you want to mix it up a bit you can add elements of ivy in now and again and they happily take to oak too and I think they'll say pyrocanthus if I pronounced that correctly. So feeding these guys is pretty simple. 
Now there's not much more advice I can give on these. They're quite a good beginner species. Just make sure there is an element of humidity at all times and fresh bramble at all times. Uh, there was a small, a small one. Oh, one that just says over. Something that just says over. That's my vegetable knife, because <laughs> I'm downstairs today. It's tissue paper and I can't even get into it. Dante, what are you doing, mate? That's a cool way of sending them in a bottle top. Oh, no way! So one that just says PK over. And this one says PHY over. Now I know what they are. I'm going to need like something as big as my bloody chilli grow tent to house that one. <laughs> and then lastly, the one marked P. H Y. I don't know if you'll be able to guess what this is straight off. Phrygonistria husi yentuensis. That's right, dude. I have sent you over of my monstrous 30 centimeters in just body length, not even the legs, stick insects. Because I really want to share these out with other hobbyists. I know it means you've got to get yourself a massive enclosure, dude, at least 100 centimeters tall, but. You know, I couldn't help myself, I want to share them with the world. So I hope you're successful with that over. You've got plenty of times, these are freshly laid, you've got months and months to wait yet until you need to get an enclosure sorted for them. They'll do all right in a tank or in a big netted enclosure. So you'll be sorted either way, I'm sure. I hope you like that boxcar. Enjoy the world of phasmids, dude. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, so there's one, two, three, four different types. Double check. And there's, okay, so premium bug grub, homemade, try this out with your feeders. I want to have a smell of it first, man. Ooh. Smells really good. Ah, it's got um, black beans in it uh, that you'd use for bean weevils. It's got loads of stuff in it. Now I'm going to pop these in with the roaches and I'll do it today. So then in about a week's time I can give you a cheeky update on how they like it. But in the, the link at the, um, the top there'll be a link to um, Sam's video of him making this. And he's got a section obviously called the Phasmid Files. I'll link in the cards to each video as well so you can go and see that. Absolutely love. Sam, you're a diamond mate. So, okay. Thank you to everyone who keeps coming back and, in, and in, enjoying what I do, hopefully. Um, if you want to support the channel even more, there's a Patreon site, you can become a patron, uh, join the Discord and uh, you know, bug me at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, top, -tier Discord, uh, top tier patrons get t-shirt and um, also as well, if you're on Instagram, if your posts, right, tag, hashtag Arachnotube and then throughout the week what I do is I repost the best ones, the ones I think are awesome. They'll also go on to like a Facebook page and stuff. So if you want to get your channel, your fledgling channel or something, or you are a fledgling Instagrammer, then getting more and more and more and more uh, people seeing your pictures is the way to go. Remember, tag, hashtag, arachnotube. Cheers guys, stay safe.